What's going on? In this video, I'm going to attempt to build an entire website using only ChatGPT. I'll also use Stable Diffusion for some of the art assets if we need them, but besides that, I'm not going to do any coding at all. The question is, can it do it? I think it's going to give us something. I don't think it's going to give us anything good though. And if you don't know what ChatGPT is, it's a generic language model that can do actually a lot of things. You know, so if you look at this one example, how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? So you can ask it that, and then it's going to spit out the exact thing you need to do using both fetch and XML HTTP request. But we don't need to know how to make an HTTP request. We need a website. And I think the website we're going to make is a flower shop. So I don't know really where to start here. I'm just going to ask it to build me the exact thing I need. So build me a website for my flower shop and provide all the HTML and CSS required for it to work. Maybe. See what it does. Okay, interesting. Well, that's definitely a website. That's something. Got a contact us form. All the CSS. Okay. Okay, kind of cool. But what does it look like? That's the real thing. All right, so it says below is a basic template for your flower shop called index.html. Great, copy that. Come over here, index.html. All right, this is our HTML for our flower shop. And it also gave us some CSS. So let's come down here, grab the CSS. What does it say? Styles.css. All right. I'm still not coding. All I'm doing is copy and pasting. That's all we're going to be doing today. I do have our trusty PHP web server ready to rock. So let's see what we got. Oh, God. Okay, so this site's pretty busted too. This site is also burning my retinas. So can it give me a dark theme? Can you make the site dark theme instead? Sure. All right. Okay. I guess that's given us some updated CSS. Let's dump that in here. What we got? Save it. Do we get dark theme? Oh, it's so much better. Okay. Okay, so what's weird here is it says there's a product section and about section, but it doesn't actually have the about section. So maybe I got to ask that separately. It says there's an about section, but I don't see the HTML for it. Can you provide an about section and maybe also a made up history section? Let's see what we got. Apologies for the oversight. Oh, we're getting a new one. All right, we got the about section history section, featured products, contact page. All righty. All right. Let's copy that, dump that in here. Let's see if this is any better. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. That about us, kind of lame, but we have a history now. Founded in 1990, your flower shop began as a small family owned business in the heart of our town. Okay, cool. Well, at least we have the right sections now. So we need actual flowers. So let's start there. Maybe like eight flowers, eight sections. Let's just ask it specifically what we want. Can you adjust the products section to accommodate eight flowers and make them in a grid of four columns and two rows? Can I handle that? Accommodate? What we got, of course. Of course we can do that. Okay, so it looks like it gave me all new HTML, but it only gave me the updated CSS, or rather it gave me the CSS additions. So let's see, product. Okay, previous styles remain unchanged, cool. So we'll just dump this at the bottom. Grab that stuff, save it, and let's have a look what it looks like. Okay, our site's kind of coming together. We got about us, our history, we got featured products. It kind of messed up the HTML on this, but that's okay. So I need to generate some actual flowers now. So to generate some flower pictures, we're going to use Stable Diffusion with the Dream Shaper model, which is just a text to image model. And all I got to do is just type here what I want. So maybe pretty flowers in vase on a table. We'll do one generation, see what actually happens. Okay, that's pretty okay. So we do need a batch size of eight. So perhaps set the batch size and generate up uh, eight flowers. Okay, here's our flowers. They're actually pretty okay looking. It's kind of nice. Bunch of AI flowers. Could definitely sell those. So I'll just zip these up and save them to my site folder, extract them, and then I'll do the renaming of all the files real quick. Okay, I got all my images saved here. You can see flowers one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The only thing I'm going to change, and I'm going to change this. I guess it's kind of, I'm kind of cheating here. I'm just going to adjust the JPEGs to be PNGs. ChatGPT wasn't expecting me to have PNGs, which is okay. You know, how could it know? All right, so it says PNGs. Let's refresh the page and see what we got. So I have noticed that the grid is all messed up. I wonder if I can ask 
Well, let me make sure it's not because of the zoom. Okay, it's not because of the zoom. It's actually messed up. I wonder if I can ask ChatGPT to fix this. So I'm gonna come back over here and say, the grid is messed up because the header is in the way. Maybe that'll be enough, I don't know. To fix the grid, sure it's not affected by the header. Okay, wait, did it actually do it? I think it did do it. All right, we've got a couple new styles to do here, feature products, container, and products, so I will update that. Oh, I put in a container with some padding. Smart. This thing's pretty smart. All right, let's grab this section, replace our current thing with that section right here. Yeah, see, now it's in a container, so it probably is going to work now. All right, readjust these to PNG. Refresh it. No kidding, look at that. I mean, it's still kind of messed up, but it's a lot better. So these images are kind of small. You know, obviously if you open up the image, the one that was produced by Stable Diffusion is a lot bigger than the thumbnails here. So I wonder if we could ask ChatGPT if it could give me the code to have it maybe pop up into some sort of like light box or something. So let's say I want to have the images of the products pop up and show a bigger version. Can you update the HTML to make this work? To create a pop-up effect, product images, we can use Lightbox. Interesting. Okay, what did it give me? Oh, it's dropping the CDN. Okay, love that. Lightbox. Okay, copy code, Lightbox min. Throw that up here. And the script. It wants that at the, right before the body tag. Okay, there we go. And then feature product container. Let's see, it just did product one. Previous code remains unchanged. What, it's not gonna give me everything? Come on, don't be lazy. Give me the HTML for all eight flowers. It's gonna do it. Apologies for misunderstanding. Oh, here it goes. It's giving everything. That's what I like to see. Okay, cool. So we'll grab the flowers section. No. Yeah, we'll grab the flowers section. Hopefully the light box will work now. So I'll grab this section tab, bring it over into our code, swap it out with this one. I'm having to update all the JPEGs manually. I could probably ask it to give me PNGs, but it's okay. I think this is perfectly okay. So let's see if we have a light box. I'm gonna be really impressed if this actually works. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, that definitely isn't working. Okay, so I checked my console. Apparently it needs a jQuery and it didn't give me jQuery. So I'm going to let it know that. I think Lightbox needs jQuery. What is the CDN URL? Oop, wait, wait. CDN URL and script tag to include. Let's see if it gives it to me. You are correct, Lightbox does use jQuery. Well, yeah. Okay, we got a script tag. Nice, take that right here. It's telling me to put that in the header. So I will do as it requests. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay, it does kind of work. <laughs> except, except the big version is out here now. So I don't know what actually happened there, but but this is pretty cool. We do have a slideshow. I mean, the irony is that, oh, it's also scrolling right and left every time I'm going to a different picture. So, but hey, you know what? It's free, ChatGPT produced this. I can probably get it to fix this problem though. So let's just ask. We're gonna say, for some reason, the product images are very large. Can you fix the HTML and make them smaller? Let's see what it does. Apologies. We can adjust the size of the product images. Oh, product image, you can adjust this value to your, to your preference. All right, so we will copy. Oops, I don't want all that. That was a mistake I made last time. All right, let's copy this in here to our product. Well, it says max height's 20. I don't know what got messed up there. So the class is product and it's going to the image tag. Maybe it has something messed up here. So it did give me some updated code, but it's simply not working. The CSS it's supplying is dot product, which is the product class and the image tag. Except when you look here, there is no product class. I think what it meant was featured products or maybe product was supposed to be on the A, but for some reason it's not working. So I'm gonna have to guide it and tell it what I think is wrong. I think the product class doesn't exist in the HTML. Can you fix it? Apologies for the oversight. You are correct, I miss the product class. You know what, at least ChatGPT is honest. Yeah, see? Okay, class product. Now we're in good shape. So I will take that section now, replace it. Featured products container. So ChatGPT is having a hard time with this. 
So we got that. We'll adjust the the JPEG to PNG. And hopefully we have a working thing now. Uh, much better. And does our lightbox still work? Oh, it does. It's cool. And there's no sliding left or right anymore. I'm not going to lie. This site's pretty rough, but it did kind of produce what I asked, I, I guess. It's, it's pretty clear to me that what ChatGPT is going to produce is going to be a starting point. It, it's possible that if I gave it the correct prompts, maybe it would design something much crazier, but it doesn't do images as far as I know. So you still have to do stable diffusion if you want to get good imagery, which we did. You know, that's how we got these really cool flowers. But it did at least listen to me, but its its context processing was, uh, was a little weird. And its, its styles are definitely questionable. I don't know where all this stuff is actually being sourced. You know, I don't know how it's deciding what actual HTML and CS to give, but I will not be hiring ChatGPT for any of my projects, I can tell you that much. The real MVP here is Stable Diffusion, which will just puke out eight pictures of whatever I want anytime I need them. So yeah, I guess that concludes our first experiment on designing a website entirely with ChatGPT. I did not actually do any coding, although I will say that this did kind of require some knowledge. Even though I didn't code anything, you know, you kind of have to know where to put things. I mean, maybe you could ask ChatGPT to give you explicit instructions on where to put things, and then maybe a non-programmer could do it. But even if you create the index.html file, where do you know where to put that? You know, it takes the knowledge of web design to know where that goes. So I don't think it's that reasonable to, to make a website in this way with somebody who has no knowledge. Part of why I wanted to do this exercise too is I've been hearing a lot of people say, oh, you know, ChatGPT is going to replace programmer jobs and this and that. Well, I just showed you that it probably won't. It still takes a web designer, web developer to know exactly what's going on here anyway, and so that's always going to be needed. And then this very last example, I had to actually fix a problem of ChatGPT, which at least it was nice enough to admit that it was missing. So yeah, that's it for the video. I suppose if you want to give us a shot, you can go make a free ChatGPT account and see if it will design you a better website. But that's it for me today. I'll think up some stuff on what ChatGPT can build for me, and then maybe I'll do another video on something else. If you have any questions or comments about anything you saw in this video, please leave them below in the comments. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you on a future video. See ya.